What is going on, Bucks fans? Evan Wanish here, back at you with yet another video talking about the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. And today we are continuing our updates on the Buccaneers' cuts. The Buccaneers have been making cuts throughout the day. They will continue to make cuts as they look to work their roster down from 90 players all the way down to 53 by Tuesday. I believe 4 p.m. is the deadline that they need to have a 53-man roster. Uh, I'm not 100% sure of that, but I'm pretty sure it's 4 p.m. But regardless, let's get right into the list. These are being reported by Rick Stroud, Greg Allman, Pewter Report. Um, great sources, of, of course, and thank you for the coverage and the updates. Cornerback Darius Williams, who was actually just claimed off waivers last week by Tampa Bay. He is getting cut. Wide receiver Tay Barber. Wide receiver Kalen Geiger, who I think surprised some people. The thing about Kalen Geiger, it wasn't necessarily anything that he did. I don't think he played bad. It's just the Buccaneers have so much competition in that wide receiver room. I think it was going to be tough for a guy like Kalen Geiger to make the roster. I mean, you have Trey Palmer. You have David Moore. Um, you have R Rakeem Jarrett. Even, even, even Devin Tompkins has impressed this preseason. So for a guy like Kalen Geiger, it's it's really tough. And I, I don't think... Um, I think that Bucks want to keep him on the practice squad. I, I don't think this is the end of Kalen Geiger in Tampa Bay unless you know another team signs him to their 53-man roster, which is possible. But uh, I know some people are surprised by Geiger's release, but honestly, it's, it's it's more of a product of the Buccaneers wide receivers really doing well this preseason. Uh, Deidre Sanat, defensive lineman Deidre Sanat. This one surprised me a little bit because Sanat actually played – in 2022, he played a little bit for the Buccaneers. He was like a part of their rotation of defensive linemen a little bit at times uh, in 2022. So a little bit surprising. I thought maybe they could find a way to keep him on the roster. He is a veteran. So a little bit surprised that Deidre Sanat gets cut here. Uh, offensive lineman John Moshan. Safety Avery Young, who the Buccaneers signed a few weeks ago and offensive tackle Michael Neese. So, I mean, not many surprises, I would say, besides Sanat for me. Uh, I think Sanat is probably the biggest one so far. I uh, just thought they would be uh, able to find a way to keep him. We'll see if any of these guys go on the practice squad. They very well could. Um, yeah, I'm not sure if I got like Sanat Ken, because of the veteran thing, but a guy like Kalen Geiger, I'm sure the Buccaneers would love to have him back on the practice squad. We'll see if they're able to. Uh, we'll also see if they sign any other players. I know you're cutting a lot of guys. You're trying to trim your roster. But at the same time, all 31 other teams are too. So there's a lot of players available now. So we'll see if the Buccaneers look to uh, continue to add to their roster at places they feel they lack depth. So we'll be covering it all for you guys here on the channel. But let me know what you guys think about this list so far. They've cut 11 players thus far. So a lot more to come and probably won't be seeing the last of us talking about cuts today. So a lot more to come for this roster trimming. And let me know what you guys think about this list, though. Is there any surprises so far to you? Like I said, Deidre Sonat for me is, is a surprise, but we'll see where it goes. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and talk soon.